good afternoon all uh, i am architect saranga kumar uh, today i am going to present uh, on the topic of uh, introducing other forms of art to the design studio an approach of using poetry as a source of inspiration uh, actually this is a uh, studio research uh, or a kind of a classroom research uh, which was done uh, during to 2016 and 2017 uh, with the students of uh, intake 32 and 33 as uh, studio module uh, actually design project my co-authors are uh, architect kihan patiran and uh, architect kasum gayant first of all i think uh, uh, this is our com- our content background research problem objective significance methodology results Uh, and discussion conclusion and recommendations uh, first of all uh, in the background i i wish to uh, introduce some keywords uh, before uh, going to the uh, details uh, actually uh, what is uh, what is the relationship between architecture and other art forms uh, some uh, might uh, 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 say that uh, architecture is a science um i don't know whether uh, dr gunas singh uh, uh, will agree with me uh, but uh, i think my uh, according to many architects philosophers uh, theorists and critics architecture is a form of art uh, in my opinion i uh, agree with this statement and uh, actually uh, aristotle in uh, you all know aristotle is a famous greek philosopher he uh, pointed out that architecture is a useful art which is uh, uh, which is uh, imitating the nature's own machinery uh, so architecture can be uh, on the other uh, other hand identified as a useful art utilitarian art to apply that because uh, architecture has a utilitarian purpose right actually architecture is not a pure art like music uh, uh, painting architecture is not a pure art because of that utilitarian uh, component there is a close relationship between architecture and other forms of art such as painting uh, sculpture poetry music cinema etc uh, this has been proven uh, throughout the uh, history i have put uh, just put some examples since the time of renaissance italian theorists uh, listed architecture painting and sculpture as the three sister arts of design uh, if you can see this uh, cut out you can see architecture is the mother of all arts here we can see uh, it is um, as i remember it is uh, uh, expressed by uh, george hegel uh, famous uh, greek idealist philosopher uh, this is uh, the uh, that the other quotation is i am trying to learn from the temporal arts such as poetry film music and theater this is uh, uh, jones uh, uh, christopher jones uh, he 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 was a, he was an architect he is an architect and he uh, said that he is trying to he was trying to learn from other arts so this is clear what uh, we are going to say about the relationship between architecture and other forms of arts uh, Uh, when when it comes to inspiration uh, we architects or artists we all uh, get inspired uh, by many ways uh, some uh, sometimes architects and uh, artists uh, get inspired by other architects and artists other architects and artists also uh, for example uh, modern architecture for its progression has been inspired by abstract art and uh, le corbusier and mies van der rohe uh, we all know uh, who, uh, who are the pioneers of modern movement they have been uh, inspired by cubism and mondrian's neoplastic paintings respectively and what is design studio uh, for some uh, somebody uh, this might be a new uh, term but uh, our architecture students and architecture academics we know we all know design studio is the place where Uh, we learn or practice as students uh, or uh, practitioners we practice architecture and also in the in any kind of uh, curriculum architecture curriculum uh, design studio might be a core course unit uh, the name uh, might be different but design studio can be a uh, the core core 
course unit or course module. What, uh, what is uh, then our research problem? Uh, as uh, academics, as teachers, content teachers of uh, design, uh, we always uh, usually uh, try, uh, try to introduce different methods to uh, teach uh, design. But uh, unfortunately, we are observing uh, some students are struggling with uh, formulating uh, good, meaningful concepts uh, to uh, come up with a good product. Uh, so uh, it is very uh, important to introduce or in experiment uh, different approaches to teach design. Uh, these are our objectives. Uh, primary objective is to examine the effectiveness of using another art form, in this case poetry, uh, in the design studio as a source of inspiration to come up uh, with a meaningful design concept. You all know concept is uh, just an inspiring idea to start the design process, right? Uh, uh, so. Uh, to come up with a meaningful design concept through identifying the qualities of the generators of architecture. You all know generators. Generators are uh, the context, uh, the user, uh, higher purpose and the activity pattern. So the secondary objectives are mentioned here. I am not going to uh, explain in detail. Uh, significance. Why, this, why is this study is significant? Uh, this is a studio research. As I mentioned earlier, this is a studio research conducted as the first design project of the second year design studio. Uh, actually, second year is our uh, main uh, designing year. Uh, as an orientation to the design uh, uh, second year, we introduced this project, uh, this name uh, from generators to architecture in our curriculum. And uh, in this case, uh, in 2016 and 2017, for the intake 32 and 33, we introduced uh, Poetry. Actually, we uh, we have given them uh, uh, some sources to the design studio. Would, uh, it would be beneficial for the students to produce good architecture through meaningful concept. It will be beneficial uh, throughout uh, their uh, career. Uh, who are the participants? Uh, participants are the students. Actually. Uh, 33 and 30, intake 30, 32 and 33 students, respectively in 2016 and 2017. 33 numbers of participants uh, were participated in this uh, research. Uh, purpose use sampling method was used. What is the procedure? Uh, first of all, we uh, gave them haiku poems without uh, author's names. Uh, we hide, uh, intentionally uh, hid the uh, names of the authors. Uh, we advise them to uh, don't uh, don't uh, search for the names, right? Uh, then uh, each student was asked to select one poem. Uh, uh, these uh, two uh, tables show that uh, poems given to the group one and group two. Uh, you all know haiku poems. What, what haiku poems are? Haiku poems are traditional Japanese one of traditional Japanese po uh, poems, uh, poetry. Uh, a haiku poem has uh, 17 syllables uh, and three lines uh, with a seasonal reference uh, named Kigo. Uh, nowadays, uh, we know haiku poems are written in different languages, even in Sinhala. Uh, uh, third, uh, third step of the procedure, research was conducted as two tasks. We, we assigned them uh, first task as an individual as an individual task uh, for interpreting and abstracting. First of uh, first uh, we advised them to uh, interpret the generators of the selected poem in terms of quality and essence. Uh, these, these these generators are not uh, architect, uh, generators of architecture, but uh, generators of poetry. What are the generators of poetry? We uh, advised them to assume that the sudden experience of the poet or the moment of perception as the first generator. Then the poet's state of mind as the second generator. Poet's state of mind is the, uh, uh, is the what uh, caused the, the response to the moment of perception generated from the context. Uh, finally, they were asked to express them in a 3D abstract, abstract form. 
actually it is a uh, 3d model task 2 uh, is also an individual task uh, designing for an uh, unknown poet uh, in uh, for the group 1 for intake 32 uh, they were assigned to uh, design the monumental space for the unknown poet poet was uh, selected by uh, the selected uh, haiku poem then uh, second one was the design in for a the design for uh, for, uh, for an unknown poet a retreat then um, there were some design considerations also uh, the selected poem is the only source they they have no any other uh, sources to uh, search for generators the only for, uh, source was the uh, poem then poet's state of, state of mind is to be assumed as the quality of generator the user then immediate context is the uh, generator of the context uh, total flow area should not exceed uh, 500 square feet analysis method uh, uh, final uh, final assessment was done by panel external and uh, uh, the panel uh, 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 was exclusive of external and internal examiners and uh, finally portfolio examiners uh, uh, done the, uh, did the moderation then detailed versions of the results were uh, gathered from all the students and summarized the categorizing in four groups based on the moderated final marks as very good, good, average and poor. Uh, these, are the, uh, these are some photographs when we taken uh, during tits, ongoing tits. Uh, this is intake uh, 32, uh, one of our cadet uh, officer, I think he, she's in the audience. Uh, uh, the, this is one of photograph. Uh, um, uh, showing myself examining one of students and external examiner with our student and external and internal examiners one of our cadet student presenting their uh, product and limi as limitations uh, we have uh, found some limitations uh, less opportunity to uh, improve interest in poetry, particularly uh, among the students, those who are not that much interested in uh, other forms of art, uh, was a limitation. Uh, if could have uh, some uh, chance to uh, conduct some uh, uh, seminars on uh, poetry, we could have done a better one. Then lack of examiners and tutors who are experts in both architecture and other art forms, it is a lack. Then results. These are the final uh, summary of final moderated marks. Uh, none of the students of both groups uh, received good, very good marks, uh, say about 75, but uh, none of, uh, of the students received poor marks also. Uh, so uh, all the students uh, got uh, marks uh, uh, lie within a good than average mark uh, marks uh, the highest mark received by the student was uh, 72 and the lowest mark was 50 no any uh, uh, failures uh, these are the uh, result, detailed results uh, this uh, shows uh, how we uh, categorize them in uh, two columns uh, first uh, column shows the selected poem and the second one is identified quality of generators with 3d abstract form which is the first task uh, then uh, design concept uh, generated from uh, design concept then uh, final uh, design we have uh, uh, present uh, we, we present here only examples from good uh, average and poor uh, lowest this is from uh, 32 good uh, one then uh, average uh, result detailed results uh, average lowest one 50 50 was is the our is our uh, pass mark. Then the, from 30 intake 33, uh, good one. It uh, it is the it is also the highest mark. Average one. Uh, average one was selected randomly, and the lowest one. Uh, what is the conclusion? 
uh, even though uh, none of the students have scored in very good uh, marks, uh, about say 75, uh, but the important result uh, that none of the students have received poor marks, no failures. That was uh, gained by us. Uh, then uh, most of all the uh, students are uh, in uh, average and good marks, no any failures. Uh, it is a good mark that most of the students, more than 80%, uh, have come up with a meaningful concept which was related to the quality of generators uh, captured by uh, given po poems. Uh, then uh, oh, most of the students have come up with philosophical ideas rather than using uh, just intuition. Uh, so uh, likewise we can uh, conclude that this approach was effective in applying in the design studio and was beneficial for the students to come up with a meaningful concept. Uh, let me have a uh, few seconds. Uh, for recommendations I like to recommend uh, uh, there is high potential to experiment this with uh, other art forms. Actually, we are now experimenting with paintings. Uh, then uh, results can be improved uh, by conducting workshops or seminars uh, on appreciation on other art forms parallel to design tutoring sessions involving experts in both disciplines. Those are our recommendations. Uh, acknowledgement should uh, first go to uh, in, uh, our students, our students of intake 32 and 33. Uh, and all the internal and external tutors and examiners. These are our references. Thank you. I will credit for you, but anyway, we didn't want to disturb your the interesting presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for his presentation. Yes.